everyone. Today, I would like to explain the four major types of analytics. The four major types of analytics. You know, when we talk about data science and analytics, uh, it's very broad uh, and it's helpful to really understand the four major types of things uh, people refer to when we are talking about analytics. And that can help you uh, understand and know what to do at what time for your business. Whether you are uh, you know, a business leader or even you are a data scientist, understanding deeply these four types of uh, analytics is very helpful. Number one is descriptive analytics. Okay. Number two is diagnostics analytics. And then number three is predictive analytics. And then finally, prescriptive analytics. I will explain uh, each of them, uh, you know, one by one with examples so we can we can all uh, understand. So what is descriptive analytics? From the name, you know, the question that descriptive analytics ha- answers is what is happening in my business? Okay. How, m- how many sales did I make last week? Uh, how many customers do I have in my database? Basically, it answers the question of what is happening in my business. How many patients visited uh, the, you know, the hospital last week? Uh, how many customers walked to the store yesterday? Those are all types of, uh, you know, descriptive analytics. And usually, uh, you know, better data reporting and visualization is what answers descriptive analytics. And this is the most common analytics that I have seen in practice. You know, if you go to every business, they have reports, even financial statements, the performance of the business, uh, you know, and, and all of that. So the key to a successful descriptive analytics is having a good reporting uh, and visualization so people can easily understand, uh, you know, what is happening in their business. Okay, so that's for descriptive um, analytics. The second one, which I call diagnostic analytics. Uh, the question that diagnostic analytics is answering is, why is this happening? Remember we said descriptive analytics uh, is actually basically answering what is happening, reporting, right? Just understanding the current situation. But diagnostic analytics goes a nurse step further or it goes one more step further to really uh, try to understand the root cause of what is happening uh, so uh, you know in dashboarding you have drill downs uh, that can help you isolate various factors to really understand what is really contributing uh, to the outcome so for example let's say sales went down last week okay diagnostic analytics will have to dive dive in and see okay why are sales down is it because a particular marketing didn't work is it because a particular store uh, you know was closed uh, you know what's really happened right so for example another example of um, diagnostic analysis could be you know trying to understand why someone is calling to a call center okay why is it that yesterday we had so much increase in call volume Maybe something fell in our product or something was not working. Maybe there was internet out- outage, right? So you try to understand the root cause of things and isolate various contributing factors uh, that can lead to that, okay? That's an example of diagnostic analytics, okay? So from descriptive analytics, we go to diagnostic analytics. Now, I'm going to the third one. The third type of analytics uh, uh, is predictive analytics okay one thing i didn't say uh, in in my previous types discussion was both descriptive and diagnosis analytics does not really require any crazy amount of uh, you know advanced techniques like machine learning or ai or or things like that you know it's really a lot of you know understanding data manipulations creating reports and being curious genuinely curious uh, you know those can help you be successful in descriptive and diagnosis analytics but when it comes to the third one which i'm going to describe now which is predictive analytics what it and an- what the question that predictive analytics answers is what's likely to happen 
what's likely to happen so it thinks you know it, it, it kind of helps you understand what is likely to happen in the future the very easy example of a predictive analytics is weather forecast right we all look at weather forecast we sometimes look at the weather forecast before we go out uh, and if it's going to rain we go with our umbrellas if it's going to be very warm we we wear you know t-shirts and things like that right so that's the power of predictive analytics it helps you understand what's likely to happen and this is the area where you know a lot of advanced analytics like machine learning uh you know predictive modeling uh you know advanced statistical modeling uh you know time series and forecasting you know all of these things actually happen under predictive analytics okay an example of predictive analytics is like who is likely to churn so churn modeling you know predict who is likely to churn if you can predict that then you can take actions to to really mitigate the churn uh, another example of predictive analysis uh, you know could be you know fraud detection right another example could be who is likely to make a purchase of a particular product you know you can predict that uh, you know that's also predictive uh, analytics so there is there is a lot of applications uh, of predictive analytics uh, you know more examples regarding forecasting forecasting is like the key one of the key things uh, and the other thing that's important about predictive analytics is like it requires more advanced skills and usually you want these things to be automated right so that the algorithms are running uh, you know uh, you know by via automation and writing out the output so people can actually uh, make decisions based on the output uh, of the algorithms okay so so far we've talked about descriptive analytics diagnostics analytics and predictive analytics the fourth one that i'm going to talk about is prescriptive analytics now we've talked about understanding what is happening why it's happening and then what is likely to happen prescriptive analytics takes it one step further and use mathematical approaches to tell us uh, you know what to do to really optimize or basically get an expected outcome okay so let me say that again what what um, prescriptive analysis does is to say based on all that we know that is happening how what should we do to really uh, you know have a desired outcome which could be minimize our cost or maximize our profit or maximize our revenue how what, what are some of the specific things we should do okay so optimization is is quite interesting it's all it uses machine learning mathematical optimizations uh, to to really uh, you know drive ads to get to specific actions to take to really get a desired outcome a typical example uh, is uh, you know route optimization in delivery you know uh, let's say you want to deliver one good uh, from your store uh, or from your warehouse to another and you want to select the the best route okay thinking about the weather conditions maybe the traffic conditions maybe even whether or not police police <laughs> is on the road uh, or any other factor that you have access to that can influence you know movement from one area to another and you look at all of those variables and you are able to determine that among all these many uh, possible routes this is the route that can help us achieve uh, or reach our destination very quickly or with a minimum amount of time then optimization can let you realize or select that, that particular route okay so route optimization uh, is one of the key uh, examples of uh, you know prescriptive analytics another example of prescriptive analytics is um, inventory optimization okay the whole idea of inventory management is to really understand how much inventory should I hold either in my warehouse or keep in in my stores so that when customers come 
or when they order online i will have enough to ship to them or if they come to my stores i can actually have enough to to sell to them okay so it's an optimization problem so you have to determine uh you know the amount of unit for each product to have uh, in in the store uh, at any point in time and so so you have in, in order to do that you have to understand consumer behavior you have to understand how often the people buy how much they buy uh you know so you have to think about what is happening today which is descriptive why they are buying certain things which is uh you know diagnostics and you know predict out uh you know what they are likely to buy and then use all of that to determine uh you know the particular unit of stocks for each of your products uh, that you want to keep okay so inventory optimization uh, is is an example of uh, prescriptive analytics okay. another interesting example of prescriptive analytics is really uh, you know in, in in investment okay in investment you have many investment vehicles to use you know you have stocks you have bonds you have certificate of deposit you you know you have you have savings uh you know you and in each of these investment have their different risk levels okay some of them can be influenced by market conditions right and so if you can think about uh, all of these uh you know investments uh you know what drives their return um you know and you can predict out you know their return okay and you know you know your risk appetite then you will be able to use optimization techniques to pick the right combination of investment vehicles that will optimize uh your outcome and your outcome could be you know the return on the investment okay considering all your constraints the other good thing about optimization or prescriptive analytics is that you can actually take into consideration your constraint okay so so in, in optimization we have constraint optimization where we talk about objective function constraint function and all of that i'm not going to go into detail there but just to kind of explain prescriptive uh, analytics the other thing is that you know the the com the complexity of these uh, these analytical types actually increases as you move from uh, descriptive analytics all the way to prescriptive analytics so prescriptive analytics is the most complex one in my in my in my experience okay and so just to recap everything that we've said today there are four major types uh, of analytics uh, and these are descriptive analytics diagnostics analytics predictive analytics and finally prescriptive analytics uh, i hope this was helpful to you we'll talk later bye